Hi guys and welcome to Cooper Age Adventures. We're just here at Chester and just come off the coach and then walk around Chester um, just to see a little Roman ruin, just go, go around the Chester Wall, a bit like the wall in um, Chichester. And you can walk around. Turn you around. It's up here with the wall. All the way around. So we'll be right there in a minute. And here we have Conquer and Dominate. A bit about the wall. As you can see, the stone walls we see here are remains of the angled tower at the south east corner of the Roman fortress of Deva. Or Deva. So let's have a look around. There we go. So this was part of a Roman building at one point. Over like what? I don't know. 800 to 1000 years ago or even more than that. Let's just have a look around. And then I go over across the road. I think we can get up to the building across there. Because obviously you've got modern day Chester compared with the olden day um, Roman era and stuff, medieval Roman, that sort of thing. What we got here? The crest. So I've just come from across the road, away over to here, the Roman uh, amphitheatre. You can see that. Oh, the sun's out quite nicely today, so move some pieces around. You are here, the amphitheatre, or what it used to look like. And then obviously over here is the Roman ruins of the amphitheatre. It goes all the way around and down there. Um, which would have been quite big, all the way up and round. As they are, they're quite tall. Because amphitheatres were basically like modern day theatre. People would just go, come and ha have a laugh. A bit like a modern day, see a modern day comedian pretty much around here in Chester. So what we've got around is just all dove dove uh, ruined amphitheatre outer wall replica. And I, can, I can go your way down there as well. So I'm just gonna go down here now. See some more ruins of the amphitheatre where people as say like to come and um, have fun and a laugh and see a grand show in the Roman era. Ooh. Uh, altar to Nemesis. Ah. Nemesis. As it's near Halloween, that's quite um, <laughs> quite cool actually. Nice little altar to a guy called Dor, personal nemesis. <coughs> Just basically showing you how big it would have been. It would have been a lot higher around. With like what, a few hundred seats around. The Tethering Stone. Okay.
We have the Warlords and Martyrs um, unique imprint of the atmosphere, amphitheatre, I should say, in, um, influenced this place along after Rome's left. So Rome's built quite a lot and then it's built upon for many, many generations to come until so we've got this modern day era. Also, it's used for um, wild beast hunts, gladiators, and public executions. The amphitheatre is for dramatic and sporting events like gladiatorial or um, like uh, olden time comedians or um, shows, for example. So here we have a model of the amphitheatre of what it, a scale 1.75 model of what it used to look like. Turn you. Show you that again. There we go. Scale 1.75 model of the amphitheatre. So you had like lots of Roman. Um, fights and stuff, gladiatorial, and also you probably would have had, as I say, olden type comedians going round and different shows in here as well. But as we can see, uh, the amphitheatre was mainly used for Roman gladiatorial events, basically like killing people, but Yod one they probably used for theatre, such as that sort of thing. What's here? <clears throat> Georgian elegance. Henry the V eighth destruction of some monasteries, eighteenth uh, century number of fine mansions. Okay, cool. Let's see what's around. I go up to the Roman walls. Here we are now in the um, gardens, the Roman gardens that they built because they were very, um, what's the word, very enthusiastic about gardens. And then obviously you built on top more layers, different er eras of history for the gardens. Lovely mosaics. As you, as you probably have seen on um, Time Team, for example, a lot of mosaics. Uh, what we've got around here. Glory in art. Yeah, it's a lot of art sort of forms. Yeah, all these little intricate pieces here. These little big squares, little squares and big squares that they put in each one individually. Probably about tens of thousands of them. All, all together, it took them a long time to do. <clears throat> ah. Oh, I'm just telling you about the King Charles the First and the city in civil war um, the city of Chester there where quite a lot of it was um, either burnt down or destroyed I think I had like two years here before they were starved out something like that yeah it's the remembrance of the lives lost Chester 1643 1646 yeah a few years So here we've got bathing in style, because obviously the Romans, they like their baths. They've uh, got a lot of big baths at um, bath, stuff like that. But it's like a little, 
this morning, look what they used to look like here. And then obviously what they got in the baths. For example, and there's a little bit of one here. Because then you've got the underneath bits here that used to um, bring up the steam up above, which should be quite tall. Um, let's have a little around, see what we've got here. There's a big gardens here, but I really want to go on the wall, but I'll see in a sec. Roman the way of death. I'll be a bit like the Egyptians, they like to, um, big ceremonies. Uh, when someone died, or someone important died anyway. As you can see, like here for example, I think. Another entrance to the Roman Gardens. So it says, Welcome to the Roman Gardens. Now I'm just popped along the Roman Wall in Chester. I've been to the one obviously in um, Chichester, West Sussex, but this is the one in Chester. So, what do you now? I'll turn you around. Let's have a look. So obviously, as you can probably see in a sec. Oh. I've got a map here. And the orange is the wall we can walk around, which I'm doing right now. So down there is obviously the river and the gardens. I went past most of it. Just here, we've got cons contrast to modern buildings and the Roman stuff down here in the gardens like over here as well the big contrast to it all this one here which is um, 1500 or something in Tudor period now I'm just about to climb up one of the big towers Sec, just show you the contrast between the modern and uh, the modern Roman stuff. What's here? What we got here? Ah, the Civic Voice Awards. Ah, cool. Again, like the modern to the Roman wall here. As you can probably tell, it's a nice warm day again. Uh, this is in Chester. Yesterday, as you probably saw in this last vlog, was um, Liverpool. And this one's Chester, so it's a nice, like, 14 degrees here. Just going across the Roman wall. Still the... Um, architecture where we've we been over there oh dear me so as I said earlier in, in the vlog I've been around Chichester in West Sussex uh, Roman walls many years ago when I was in my early 20s now I'm 28 I thought might as well while I'm here, go around Ch um, Chester, roaming the walls. So I saw the amphitheatre earlier. <sighs> I'm not sure how many miles it is. I'll have to have a look up. In a minute, I'll probably go on Google and have a look. The Chester wall, or roaming the wall, is two miles long and about 3.2 kilometers in distance. This clock here is the second most famous clock after Big Ben to be photographed, apparently. 
but obviously Big Ben's the first, and it will be the first. This is the second apparently. And as you can probably see in here, that's where I was earlier, down below. But I didn't get any footage of that because I was trying to find my way up to here. Yeah. There are a lot of different places along the wall you can actually visit and see and do or go down to the main streets. <laughs> New look, lol. Please use Eastgate Street entrance. All oh, right, you can come out of there, I think, but you can't go back in. <laughs> oh, God, it's quite high. Reckon quite hard though to people to attack in, in, in Roman era, like like the Celts and all that. <sighs> Cathedral and the falconry. Here we have um, the cathedral over here. I'm not, not going to go inside because, as you saw from Litchfield, uh, the vlogger did from Litchfield. I went to the cathedral, so just going along the Roman one. I go a bit further on, because obviously right is falconry, left is the cathedral entrance. And here we go, some stained glass windows. As you saw from my Hitchin vlog. I really like the stained glass windows. You see me in a little bit. From the cathedral from Chester, in Chester. Lo love a good stained glass window. Just walking a bit up about here. It looked pretty big cathedral. That's from what you can see from the outside. We're now on part of the Roman wall where we've got the cathedral here and the gardens. Do a bit of zoom in. Very nice cathedral there in Chester. Uh, what else do we have here? Just the bagot. Oh. <laughs> Where do you go? I oh, don't no. Squirrel! Oh, I'm having a fight for their nuts. Well, I can find another one. Oh, he's, he's a, you, can, you can see him like, attacking each other, fighting for the remaining nuts. <laughs> Often close and personal with the squirrels. As you saw from my vlogging hitching, I did. Um, so I got up close and personal with a, a squirrel, the same thing really. If you wanted to do the Chester Cathedral Falconry, then it's to your right, all the way down there. So as you can see, there's lots of activities. And this is where they do uh, the falconry experience. Here, you can hear them. Yeah, probably over either to the back. Oh, I see, I do it all the way down there in this little field here. As you can see, the falconry stands there. It's like here, 
we have the canal area with a canal boat there from all the way around the corner and it goes all the way around past through round there and then probably all the way round down there something like that. Uh, here we have the King Charles Tower where once the medieval tower um, let's have a look, King Charles I witnessed de defeat here uh, in the war when siege at Chester I believe here one of his towers, a lookout tower so look out at the battle, what's raging down below here we have King Charles I tower where he watched his uh, royalist soldiers being defeated uh, the Battle of Roton Moor R-O-W-T-O-N Moor and as you can see it's quite a tall tower, you can see it all the way over because obviously this lot was this plain field you can, can see his army getting defeated and as you can see around here you can still see some of the names and the brickwork on the names here like the old style graffiti as you can still see here, I'm following, st still following the Roman uh, wall, and obviously the, the little stream going past, like a canal stream going past. It's quite far. Here, as you can see, the city walls open follow diversion so they're doing some work to the city walls like basically restoring the city wall so I've got to go down these stairs all the way around past there in a minute where it says city walls diversion they go all the way around and back up again and go around again to where I haven't been As you might have noticed, there's a quite a few along this stretch, along this two mile and 3.2 kilometre stretch of um, Roman wall, which goes around the old Roman town of Chester. There's a lot of like these type of cafes and stuff dotted around the, the building, buildings, which you see in um, Chichester as well on the big walk. Because I think in Chichester, the um, turn around. In Chichester, I believe the Roman wall is a lot longer than two, um, two miles and 3.2 kilometres, for example. So you get like, quite, like a lot of um, restaurants, takeaways and stuff like that around here, which is very good if you are uh, quite tired and basically want to stop something to eat. Now we're heading this way for the city walls diversion. So you've got to go down uh, Water Tower Street, I believe, down here to go up to the top. Because I think they're doing a bit more restoration work. So as you can see here, they're doing a lot of work to the Roman uh, uh, wall, basically. Because that like, probably like near a thousand years old, so. Or 800 to a thousand years old, something like that. It's just up the top there where I go and rejoin it. Thought I'd take a little diversion to the right as I came in from here to the right to Captain Morgan's cannon. Captain Morgan's, not his rum, his cannon. Aye aye, Captain. Man overboard, ship ahoy, shark attack, <laughs> yo ho, shimmy timbers, and all that jazz. <laughs> it's Captain Morgan's cannon just over here. Spectacular design. <laughs> Lester's brutal siege. Story of Captain Morgan. So as we head over here, to his cannon apparently, Captain Morgan's cannon, not his rum, his cannon. We've probably drunk a lot of rum to be honest, but 
Captain Morgan. <laughs> oh, I like that. And then obviously a, a barrel with a bit of a cannon here. As you can see here, I've come from the other side of a city wall, following the diversion. So I'm trying to pop up here, see the miraculous view. Uh, Morgan's Mount, probably Captain Morgan, and it's not his rum, not his rum. <laughs> A military lookout played part of Fenton Chester during the Civil War, 1642-1646. Right, it's another part of the two mile sh um, long Roman Wall, which is 3.2 kilometres. Obviously we're in the big bridge here. So we're going to go over the bridge here. As you can see, around here, the modern buildings. This is obviously a modern bridge, but we're still following the Roman wall, which is starts here again. Not this one here, but these lot here, these big bricks, or whatever, where, where, where do you call them, to be honest. I'm now here at um, Goblin Tower, rebuilt 1894, uh, Pemberton's Parlour, which is the name after 18th century Mungara, responsible for the upkeep of city walls. So they're upkept all throughout and even, even up till today. Through here. Because you, you, you can see through the arrow slits. Cross arrow slits, which um, would be quite a high place in the medieval period to fight off marauders, or even because this this part would have been, uh, I believe, medieval as well. Even though most of it's Roman, but this bit's medieval. Here we have the city walls where soldiers patrolled and were taken and the people promenaded pretty much around here, up the top here. Different things they say on there, the East Gate. I am about there. Going all the way around this way. Don't know how far I am roughly to where I started to be honest. <laughs> but I'll find out in a minute. Obviously a lot of different um, walks you can go down here as well, all the way across, down at the top. But it goes way for now. Or you can go down there. Another little walk I think. Something like that. Here we are, another little section of the actual um, wall, the walk. You wouldn't have thought two miles, 3.2 kilometres, actually big, but once you've walked all the way around, then it feels pretty long. So it's over there as well, another state uh, on the wall path. Because um, we're walking by like. Kind of road here, so it's still the, the walk, I believe. Yeah, because you can do that as, as, as well within the walls if you want to, but nah, I'd go along the walk and that.
comes the sun, here comes the sun, and I say, it's alright. Little darling, it's been a long, cold, lonely winter. Little darling, it seems like years since it's been here. Here comes the sun, do do do. Here comes the sun, I say it's alright. Little darling, the smiles you turn into the dead faces. Little darling, it seems like years since it's been here. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. Here comes the sun, and I say it's alright. Sun, 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 here it comes. Sun, 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 here it comes. We're still following the Roman wall, as you can see. A uh, couple of guys over there, as you probably saw, doing a, a couple of songs, and there's a wedding down there somewhere. So I followed them all a bit further around. All the way down, all the way around, I think. Something like that. Oh, got a bit cloudy now. So here we have Chester races. Everyone's going down the finery. It must be a race, an event or some wedding or racing event or something. Not as big as a derby. <coughs> cough, cough, wink, wink. Obviously, as you know, that's where I'm near. Not far from there. Ah, cool. Not too bad. Still on the way. <laughs> two miles, seems like 22 miles. Here's the castle. Um, around. I've got to head back to the amphitheatre, theatre, whatever it's called, where I passed before. Oh, it ain't a flipper, jeez. Mad, isn't it? How um, long this place is. <laughs> Turn you around. Here's the castle. Grab you a little bit of. That far from the end of the city walls. Um, how far? But obviously, we're still following the Roman walls, which, which is the longest two miles ever. <laughs> you can see the construction of the walls here. And obviously the little, um, oh, the big, big stream across goes across there and through here. Blimey. If I'm finding it tough, blimey, what would a Roman soldier find it tough? I know they're trained for it, but blimey.
the bridge gate and the old D bridge. Ah, see, world little, little ships would have gone past in the Roman period and they'd get all the people with the archers and stuff and throw stuff down. So basically, try and sort of the attackers. Ah, wicked. And then it was maintained throughout the years to what it is now. Obviously, obviously, you see there, there's plenty of boat trips that you can do. A bit, bit like Kingston Pond Thames, many boat trips along, well, that way and the way around. But there's just one there going to dock. As you can see down there, I'm, I made it to the park where I started. What about an hour and a half ago at least? <laughs> Yeah, I look like a sweaty mess. Don't read anything into that though, but it's just um, the fact that it's quite a long walk, two miles and 3.2 kilometres. Past the race course, past the castle, past everything really. <laughs> Turn you around. <coughs> so as you know, here's the Roman uh, gardens and the Roman wall here. Yeah, where I started pretty much an hour and a half ago, or something, maybe even two hours ago, something like that. Oh, lovely. Oh, dear me. Okie dokie. Not too bad, really. Exercise. I'll just see how far. Um, 7,418 steps, roughly about 6,000 steps I've done, about 5 calories burnt, 4 or 5, something like that, but quite a lot. So we've still got lovely architecture of the 15th century building there. Going to find the way down just over here to the Roman uh, amphitheatre and then also going to have to eat and drink and have a sit down. So hopefully you've enjoyed that one, um, and there'll be more to come. Please do enjoy. Right, there's that clock where I passed about 45 to a minute to about an hour ago or so, two hours ago, something like that. Um, heading this way to the uh, cathedral. I think it's down this way. Something like that. Oh, there's the Grosvenor. Oh, there we go. It's this way to the cathedral. There, there, up there. Okay, to the right. Good, good. <sighs> Finally made it back to the cathedral. I think that's the one I um, passed earlier. Along the route over there, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you pass it along where you go, everywhere you want, left to right, right to left, for the Roman walk. That's right. Ah, looks quite good. Like the one in Litchfield, it's pretty big as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed this vlog. Do give me a comment down below what you thought of this vlog. Uh, like, share and subscribe as well, that jazz and um, What's your favourite part of this vlog and obviously the other vlogs as well? So, yes, I say like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have fun. Here is the Grosvenor Museum, which I didn't think we'd managed to get to. That's why I ended the vlog where I did. So, this is like Roman history, it's got three floors, only two are open. First floor was like a conference facility. A lot of Roman history there. 
Uh, up and coming here, as you see, me on a sh Roman chaise lounge for the w rich and wealthy here. And to show you your area about the um, Roman houses, banqueting facilities, because they were the rich always had food. Here's a natural Roman soldier, scary looking in the main area. Um, you've got some more Victorian and Georgian architecture with paintings there. Um, a lot of famous people had portraits put in, in this little gallery area there. The next one here is the Ridgeway Silver Gallery. Uh, silver in Georgian Chester, because obviously the Georgians, um, they expanded Chester, and then the Victorians expanded Chester, and then obviously expanded all the way through up until now, it's 2018. Uh, the Mayor's Parlour was moved to this location. Uh, this is basically the area where you speak. Basically, a bit like House of Parliament, but on a very, very small scale. Stuff about Chester and the surrounding area and Cheshire, that sort of thing. The next one here, we have the Speaker's Chair, which he wasn't allowed to go and sit on. Uh, God Save the Queen, obviously. Queen Victoria, which is a V. Here's me, Molly Muggins, there in the Speaker's area. Uh, the Mayor's Parlour, King's Arms Kitchen sign there. Here is the natural Cheshire area, River D, that sort of thing. Um, this is the River D. You can pause it here to look at the um, footage, um, what it says there. Here, a couple of bits for the stuffed animals and something else, because this is the natural Cheshire area for the... Uh, museum, uh, right, the second floor, I believe, and that. Here we have another statue. Um, obviously, it's of portraits of Charles Kingsley from the 1800s. We managed to go to a couple of charity shops afterwards, Age UK and Cancer Research. There, so I got my um, VHS tapes from there.